would like to point out a few of the advantages of float 2 that comes standard on most of the Arctic Snow Pro packages. Let's start out with the F-Series here. Some of the, the main questions we get is, is how to set my air pressures. The best way to do that is start out by lifting the front of the snowmobile off the ground with a, with a small floor jack or a stand. After you get it off the ground, you want to unscrew the cap that comes standard on them. Now that we have the cap on, removed, grab the pump that's supplied with the sled and screw it onto the Schrader valve. For lower pressures, use the back side of the pump, or if you don't have a double-sided pump, just use the main surface, main gauge. But on this one with the double-sided, we can get the lower pressure. Now that we screwed it on, all the F and the XFs all start out at a pressure of 75 is the recommended pressure from RDCAT. The M series recommended pressure starting is 90 PSI. As you can see with this, we're a little bit below 75. Don't be alarmed, that's what it should read when you screw the pump onto the shock absorber. The reason for that is we have to fill the volume of the pump up, so we'll drop the pressure a little bit, a couple pounds, two to three pounds, so don't be alarmed once you screw the pump on, you notice that the pressure is a little bit lower. It is correct. So now that you got it on there, we want to pump it back up to 75 PSI to start for the recommended starting pressures. This is a good thing to do at the beginning of every season uh, before you go and ride your sled for the first time. So now that we have the pressure set, now we want to unscrew the pump from the shock absorber. When you, when you hear that little bit of air coming out of there, don't be alarmed with that either because that's air coming out of the pump, not out of the shock absorber. So don't think that you need to overcompensate because of air coming out of the shock absorber. It's not. It's coming out of the pump. And the reason is that is we have designed in our end on the pump is it shuts off the Schrader first before it releases the air. So the air that's coming out is only coming out of your pump. And now that you have that done, reinstall your cap on it. Set the sled back on the ground. Now you're ready to go riding. Now after you've been riding your sled a little bit on some of the trails and you've noticed some things that you don't like or do like and you'd like to make some adjustments to it. The nice thing about the Flow 2s is it's very easy to make the adjustments. Just like you went and checked your air pressures, you can make adjustments to your air pressure also to help for one, for cornering, for small bumps, for big bumps, any of those wide range of different trails you're riding, snow conditions, all that kind of stuff. So some of the rules of thumb that we use when we we're initially setting up our shocks for different kind of riding conditions is that is, if the sled's rolling, if it's bottoming, you need more air pressure. Two and a half to five pounds at a time, adding, adding air. If the sled feels too stiff, too harsh, it, it doesn't suck up any bumps, the sled is too stiff now soften up the air pressure. Again, removing two and a half to five pounds at a time is a good rule of thumb on a float two is, is not recommend to go more than five pounds at a time because you can go past your point very easily. So now again, unscrew on your pump and do all the same steps as we did before when we were initially setting up your air pressures on your new snowmobile. 